So here we are on my Android TV device, the Nvidia Shield Pro. We can see some applications I've been using today. We can see this one has a cache of 19.8 meg. We can see Distro TV has a cache of nearly 40 meg. And the Play Store we can see has um, 7.6 meg application cache. Now application caches can grow on your device and you may find that certain applications stop working properly when the app cache gets too large. You may have also noticed on other applications that the performance really seems to grind to a halt again when the application cache is too large. So just regularly going in and maintaining and cleaning that cache can be good practice. Now individually clicking on an application, selecting clear cache can be a long winded process, especially if you have like 20, 30 or more applications installed. And this is exactly where the TDUK app cache cleaner comes in because literally with one click with this application, you can clear all of the app caches on your device. And it doesn't matter if you have five applications or 50 applications, with that one click, you really can ensure that your device has the maximum performance. And of course you can reclaim that lost space. So how does it work? Well, let's open up the app cache cleaner. The first thing it will ask you on this free version, it will ask you for a free pin code. So let me just type that in. That's now gone in, I can click on login. We're logged in. So the first thing you'll have to do is you'll make this ADB connection, which is the first option. Let's click on that. That's now connected and now I have two options. So clean cache will clean all of your application caches with one click. And the second option will clean those caches, but it will also restart your device. Now, definitely on the Amazon devices, I do recommend this option because firstly, you'll get all of those app caches cleared. But also I've noticed that sometimes when you do the second option, you don't see your applications, banners or tiles properly until your device is restarted. So I do recommend the last option for most of your devices. But as I'm on the Nvidia Shield, I can now click on clean cache. One click, we're now all done. We get the message that the command was completed successfully. The application's caches have now been cleared and the application then shuts down. Now if I press back, now if I go to app to a TV, this was previously 20 meg and it's now down to just 300 kilobytes. Distro TV was about 40 meg. We've gone down to 90 kilobytes and the Play Store was about 10 meg and that's now gone down to 69 kilobytes. And just for your reference, 1024 kilobytes equates to one megabyte. So with these remaining caches just being, you know, 50 or 100 kilobytes in size, it really is nothing to worry about. And many applications do have a default size which is why this will never go to zero. And in fact, if I click on this and try to do it manually, we can see it stays at number. So that must just be the default starting cache size for this application. But the main thing is we've now seen with one click, we've gone ahead and cleared all of our application caches on this device. And in fact, if I just look at some other applications, for example, the care application, I think my app cache was about 150 meg we can see it's now gone down to 16 kilobytes. So what a super easy, convenient and free method. We can now go ahead and clean all of our app caches across all of our devices. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get this application on all of your Android TV devices and also your Amazon devices, you can head over to settings, go over to MyFi TV, go to developer options, make sure ADB debugging is on because you need that for this process to work. And where it says install unknown apps, make sure you've enabled downloader. Once you've confirmed that, we can now open up downloader and of course, on your Android TV devices, you can use your favorite browser like Chrome or TV Bro or even Downloader. And we can now just make a quick connection to our website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can always type in the short code 53402. Tap that in, click on go, and this will take you directly to my site. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, you can click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be 
how you can get the TD UK app cache cleaner, the free edition on all of your devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So we have the new Tech Doctor UK cache cleaner 2023. We can now see I've made this free version available for all of your devices. So if I scroll down, we can see the supported devices. I mean, I've tested this personally on my Fire Stick Max, on my second gen cube, third gen cube, my Chromecast Google TV, my Nvidia Shield. And with one click, you really can go ahead and clear those caches. Now I've written like a quick summary here because in case people don't know what are the benefits of cleaning the cache, you can see the stuff here, what it does, why you may want to remove it. And we can see here that when an app stops working correctly, one of the most common causes is corrupted cache or too much cache. So the quick way you can fix it is to go ahead and clean that cache. Let's scroll down. And then I've got the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can actually enable ADB debugging on your Amazon devices, but also your Android TVs. So you can just follow the process, see the things you need to do, and then how to do that on your Amazon devices. So if you're not familiar with that, you can follow the process there underneath all of that and here we have the link to the new version and let me just politely ask that please don't distribute this application yourself or add it to your unlinked stores or your file sync stores or your different websites because I would like to see how many people are using this new free edition and sending people to my page just ensures that everybody has the latest version the latest build and of course, I can try and reclaim some of those hosting, those development, those packaging costs with some of the ad revenue. So really do appreciate your support. So I can click on this link here to download the latest version. And this is the link you want to click on to get a pin code. So this is actually a subsite of my main site. You can bookmark this on your phones, on your tablets, wherever it is easy for you to get a pin code, save this page there. And then anytime you need to get a pin code, you can go ahead and quickly access the page just scroll to the bottom and you click on this blue button to generate a new pin code and the pin code does expire after you use it but really there's no need for anybody to clear the cache more than once a day and if you do need to clear it again on another device you can go ahead and generate a new pin code and if you need to clean the cache the next day or next week whenever you like you can always come back to the same page and generate a fresh pin code so you click on this and you get this six digit pin code. I personally recommend doing this on your phone because it's just easy to navigate. You can scroll through, click on that generate a pin code, see the six digits, then you can use your normal remote control to type those in. So let me now open up the application on my Fire TV Cube. Just type in a new code, click on login, that logs in. Again, we click on the first button first to make the ADB connection. And if you do see that prompt asking you that, do you want to allow this application to make an ADB connection? I would select the checkbox saying always allow because it just means that you don't have to see that prompt every time. And we now have those two options. And I personally recommend on the Amazon devices, go for this one here, one click, the command was completed successfully, all application caches have been cleared, your device will now reboot. And in a couple of seconds, we can see that my Fire TV Cube has done exactly that. So let me just take this opportunity to wish all of you a safe, a healthy and prosperous 2023. Lots of you are asking for this application to be free. I can log back in. All my applications are there and we'll see most of these applications will have 16 kilobyte cache, 16 kilobyte, 16 kilobyte, 32 kilobyte, 16 kilobyte, 16, 16 so it's just tiny guys so all of that cache has been cleared and my device will now run as optimally as possible so really do appreciate your support do leave me a comment below let me know what you think and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks